Welcome to a frigid Minnesota for wildcard action here in the Simulation Football League. This is Ramos Lynn alongside me in the booth is Mr. Mark Lopez. And Mark, a couple teams, Minnesota and Alamo City. Minnesota uh, last season made it to the playoffs. Um, fell in the first round, but had a very impressive season. This season has been just as, if not even more impressive. Four wide receivers this time for Alamo City. First time we see this look. Fennec passes, middle, the pass is caught and good for a first down, good play. Yards allowed, their weak point though is the passing defense, 14. That's yeah. gonna be another rush and Brad Jones will get another first down with a spin move past the 35 into field goal range to the 30 yard line. We talked about it, he will be the pivotal player. They're gonna live and die by Brad Jones. This pass wow. over the middle is caught again to Soto for a gain of about 15 and another first down. Wow. And it's a really, really good offense, a really complete offense. We're going to see another stretch play, I think. Yes, we are. And that time is smothered by Mello. From about 33 yards away, uh, sorry, 27 yards away, the field goal is going to be up and good. Make it 28. A deep pass. Five wide receivers, oh. Reno hit as he throws and the pass is picked off. Ow. Albert Begin gets that one past the 20, past the 30. He's still running to the 38 yard line. And that's how Minnesota's drive will come to a close. But this one does close a chapter for us. This pass by Fennec is gonna oh. be knocked away and picked oh, off. Ow. Intercepted, the ball just absolutely floated between the receiver and the hands of a couple of DBs, and Minnesota gets a massive stop on defense. Some laws of physics might have been broken in this. How did the ball not touch the ground? Oh, it must have been just bouncing on the legs of the receiver of Hank Earl Troll. Mm -hmm. Has also made some good decisions so far. We know to throw this pass is what? gonna be knocked away and picked again by Albert Begin. That's not a good decision as Albert Begin will return it to the 37-yard line, and this has turned into a pick fest. Three receivers that time. Reno to throw. Reno goes deep, and the pass is picked oh. again. Three wide receivers this time. Fennec to throw. Fennec deep. The pass no intercepted way. with one hand. How? And we have our fourth pick of tonight's ball game. So I'm looking at... I'm looking at the um, bingo sheet. One of them is five total interceptions. We may have that before <laughs> halftime. I might have been a little too conservative with that oh, one. Oh, the fifth pick already. Just being able to turn the, you know, just flip the field. Fennec, the pass is going to be caught again. Greg Soto picks up a first down to the 41. The line of scrimmage. Lots of defenders in the middle to prevent him from getting plenty of yards. And Minnesota is doing well in that department. From the split back, the pass goes to the outside, caught to Soto again. Second down and four, ball at the 20, handoff to the fullback, and Juicy gets the first down. Still, oh, look, look for a crossing route here. Man-to-man -man between oh, the corners. They go with a crossing, and it's wide open for a touchdown. Sigi Ronek in the SFL Discord server. Rooms are going fast, and some have already sold out. So serve your special group right today. We will see you there as this pass is caught and ruled a first down. Three wide receivers and a tight end this time. Look for slants. Yep, slants, there it is. The pass is caught for a first. Well personnel this time, hard offset to the right. To throw again goes Johnny Reno. Reno to the outside. What a great throw as Buchanan Simons gets the catch and goes to the 11-yard line. Great job by Johnny Reno waiting for his receiver to break open. There's the two tight ends. There's Colin Hard. Well, that, that, that didn't work either. Never mind. A <laughs> loss of one yard. I think... No, that's their goal. Just get some points. Let's get us started on the right track. And then, From 29 then yards out, the field goal is up and good. And Minnesota finally breaks the Guzek. Gets it, sets his team up for third and six. Time for a deep throw. Look, Deuce Fennec, top of your screen. No, maybe not. Following oh! the football. And Alamo City's got it. Alamo City pounces on it. Really does a good job of gassing the defense. They try one more oh, time. Oh, and this time oh. it's picked up by Johnny Maguire. He can go 
to the 50, to the 45, the 40, to the 30, the 25, and he's going to be stopped at the 23. But what a beautiful read by Gunny McGuire with the interception and an absolute killer for Minnesota. Wow. Mickey Gunny McGuire with a near pick six had two pass deflections in the game. Now his interception in this one and oh that that breaks the hearts of Minnesota fans as their team is doing so well. Minnesota looking to get more points here in the third quarter. Alamo City now really close to the red zone. Brad Jones will get him into the red zone and more. Jones is in for a touchdown. Brad Jones has woken up at the 46 yard line. Three wide receivers, two backs. They have to run the football, don't they? Well, they will get sacked. Four wide receivers. Biggest play of the game on defense for Minnesota. Fennec, sack! Damn, no. Third down and 10. Ball at the 24. Reno to throw, goes deep, intercepted. That's it. Donnie McGuire returns it to the 30, returns it to the 20. Donnie McGuire puts it into the red zone at the 13-yard line. Just waiting to settle the business. Only one job to do is give the ball to Brad Jones. He loses two, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it really doesn't matter if Brad Jones loses 10 yards of this drive. And I I can't imagine them not put, putting out another playoff effort next season. Absolutely. Alamo City puts it between the uprights 10 to 3. Insane catch. 63 total yards from him. John Reno himself has 270 total. Reno deep, incomplete. Total of almost 30 more yards than Alamo City. Actually, exactly 30 more yards than Alamo City. And despite that, they have seven turnovers. They have a lot of quarterback hits. They got home on John Reno, and that was the deal breaker.